Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the new Squid. So this is the Squid XM. It's a larger size Squid. So let me just put this here and immediately compare it to the original Squid, which is here and has been an EDC knife of mine for a long time. Now, because of the weight of this one, sometimes it kind of falls over like that, but you can just see size-wise, definitely a difference between the two. Now looking around the CRKT website, they don't have a ton of information as far as details on the new Squid XM. Um, they don't give you the length and the weight and all those different things. So we're going to do that right here on the camera so you can see what it looks like. Then we're going to compare it to a couple other knives um, that kind of have a similar feel. This Squid XM obviously is larger than the original Squid and it's bigger than these other ones, but it, they do have a similar kind of overall, I think, approach to, uh, to what a knife is. So let's start with the original Squid end-to-end -end length. We are looking at about, let's see, five and a half inches, let's say, give or take. Squid XM, we're looking at about seven inches from end to end. Blade length for the Squid XM, we're looking at a little bit less than three. And for the original Squid, we're looking at, let me line this up here. Get it right to the edge. Yeah, I would say about two and a quarter, maybe two and a third. So a ballpark there. Um, obviously a difference, you know, just in the overall size. This one has a metal handle versus this one has a G10 handle. D2 steel for both these guys. The original Squid um, does come with a variety of different options as far as like lots of people have modified the handles, different colors, different treatments of the blade. Um, there is a lower, um, lower grade steel available out originally in the Squid, but D2 is obviously a, a better steel than, you know, a 7CR or 8CR, whatever the other one was. So let me give you some details on the Squid XM. Now, now that you've seen them side by side, I'll move this out of the way. So its opening is gonna be with the flipper design and it says it deploys the blade fast, which is true. The flipper is a nice design there. It is on the IK, IKBS ball bearing system, which um, CRKT has been using for a long time. It's a good quality option for your, um, for your uh, pivot there. Um, D2, we already said, G10 for the handles, uh, uses a frame lock. They do say maximum control on blade friction grooves for grip. Low profile pocket clip provides secure carry. So let's take a, a close-up look at this thing here. So you got that kind of stone wash finish there on the, uh, on the blade. You do have a flipper, and then you also have both sides of thumb studs. So ambidextrous, a little bit of jimping there on top. Pretty smooth on the uh, on the G10, which is nice. If you're going to put that in your pocket, it's not going to rip your pocket up, which is nice. Got a slot there for your lanyard. Flip it to the other side. Burnley design. Lucas Burnley moved from New Mexico out to the East Coast. He actually lives probably maybe two hours from me right now. And then you can see there is your frame lock. Nice deep pocket clip there. Show you the lock up. So you can see what that looks like. So there's that. Let me open it for you on camera here. So it does, um, like as you're, as you're closing it up, you can feel there's some resistance to it. And that's because it is assisted. So a little bit of, you know, a little bit of force here. And that guy's going to really pop out nicely. Same thing with the thumb stud. You see that? Let me do the on camera so you can actually see the whole thing. Yep. Comes out real nice and smooth. All right. So a couple quick thoughts here. So this is the Squid XM. I've already shown you the Squid. If you like this style of knife, then maybe you want to check out the Banter from We Knives. This is also... Um, made by a friend of mine. A lot of you guys know Ben from Ben Banters on uh, on Instagram. His website is NAF, K-N-A-F-S, NAFS.com. And um, just shot a couple videos with him when he was out here visiting on the East Coast. So similar design you could see, you know, very simple, sleek design. Not a lot of frills, not a lot of bells and whistles or contours, but very functional blades. Um, you got D2, D2, and S35 for that one. Last knife to consider kind of in this similar profile, I would say is this guy right here which is, this is from Wesson. I got this in a going year um, monthly EDC club, the premium version. So that's S35 yen as well. Different grind there. You can also see um, definitely not as aggressive a tip there. G10 for the handle for both these guys. Um, pretty deep pocket clip. This one is actually, I don't find it amazingly functional because it's just so snug against the, uh, against the handle there. Whereas Ben did a great job recessing his pocket clip, but also super, super user friendly. So four similar profile knives. The Wesson actually does come with a, a little leather sheath like this that you can, you can throw it into. So if you want to do that, close it up and then just slide it in. 
you can carry it like that in your pocket. But anyhow, uh, yeah, these four are kind of similar designs. Now, the thing that I like about the new Squid XM is the size. I love the design of the Squid, but I do think something a little bit bigger is what I'm looking for. So in hand, I have large size hands. You know, you're going to get a solid four finger grip on that. I guess your pinky's a little bit low, but you know, when I lock this guy in, I'm ready to rock and roll. Jimping is mild, I would say. It's not even medium, but definitely can lock your thumb in. Enough of a tip to pierce there. Let me show you up close. Enough of a tip to pierce there, um, but not like, you know, it's not a, a super aggressive tip. Just a very simple, but beautiful, functional design for the Squid XM. All right, so I want to show you some footage now of the Squid XM in use. So let's uh, roll in that footage right now. Wrap it up here talking about the CRKT Squid XM. The phrase I would use for this knife is beautifully basic. Beautifully basic, right? So there's not a lot of frills, bells, whistles. When you look at it, there's no, you know, indents, big swoop on the blade, crazy handle. Basic handle, basic blade, but it gets the job done. As you saw, this thing came razor sharp, really, really sharp. Uh, nice job, CRKT, sharpening up your blades before you send them out. Um, if you liked the squid, but you're like, I just want a slightly larger knife, then obviously this is the one for you. Um, if you want something that um, is going to function well, it's going to give you D2 steel. So not a super high grade steel, but you know, a, a solid steel that's going to be um, keeping an edge well for everyday, everyday carry type tasks. Then this is a blade I think worth checking out. Um, the other thing about this that I like is that I can see it in a wide variety of uses, right? So yes, you can use it in the woods. Yes, you can use it as everyday carry. You know, you know, cutting food, cutting some twine, cutting some boxes open. But also, if you're like in a in a type of uh, line of work where you know you're going to be cutting through jute twine all day or cutting up cardboard boxes all day long, I could see this thing being a great knife for that as well. Um, comfortable in hand, not a super thick handle, but for me with large size hands. When I hold it like this, thumb on the jimping, just cutting all day long, you know, I, I, it just, it was comfortable in hand and didn't give me any hot spots, easy to use. So I think it could function well as kind of like a work knife or a utility knife as well. Um, I do like this because it's got, uh, it's like a slim down version of also the CRKT No Time Off 
by Flavio Coma. Really like that knife. I don't even know if they're making it anymore, but it's just kind of a chunky, wider, wider blade version of this. So this is a slim down and I think uh, probably less expensive version of that. So yeah, the Squid XM. I mean, this is gonna be the type of knife that if you're looking for something that's gonna be super photogenic, I'm not sure this is the one. My guess though is that going into the future, they will add different types of scales. They'll probably do a different type of steel because I think this is gonna be popular. Um, so I would, you know, if you like it, get one and then stay tuned for future modifications I think that are gonna be offered. Again, price point for this, you're looking around, you know, 45, 50 bucks, give or take. And uh, I think that's a good investment for what you're getting. If this was 7CR steel, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to pay that much. But for D2, G10 handles, solid construction, yeah, I think it's worth around, you know, 50 bucks. I think that's a good investment of your money. I'll show you the backside there real quick. Once again, the CRKT Squid XM. Let me hear your thoughts on it. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? What would you change? We'll get the discussion started in the comment section. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. Let's start chatting about this thing now. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.